No justice! No Jeeps! No justice! No Jeeps! Workers at three assembly plants in Missouri, Ohio, and Michigan took to the picket lines overnight. They're demanding higher wages, a shorter work week, and return of pensions. The United Auto Workers Union is asking for a 40% pay hike, but so far automakers have offered half that. But with each passing day, economists say the strike could be felt by everyone. The best estimates that we've seen as far as the cost of the strike, um, it could potentially be upwards of $5 billion. Uh, of total damage in the first 10 days. UAW leaders say they expect to be at the bargaining table tomorrow and are awaiting a response on their counter offer. President Biden, who prides himself in being pro-union, threw his support behind the union United Auto Workers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Molly Hudson. Mary has the night off. The strike's impact could even reach car dealerships in the metro. Through News Now reporter John Brown talked to a local used car dealership that could eventually feel the impact on inventory. The UAW is ready to stand up. This is our defining moment. The United Auto Workers Union is on strike against General Motors, Ford and Stellantis. But what does that mean for used car dealerships? Auto workers hit the picket lines Friday demanding better compensation for workers from the three big companies. Quest Auto Sales in South Omaha is a used car shop that says the effects of the strike will impact business very soon. We're going to have a harder time, like I said, trying to find quality inventory at a reasonable price that we can pass along to the customer. Scott McMahon is the general manager at Quest and says inventory is already hard to come by at the pre-owned level. The impacts of the strike will only make it worse, with the shortage of manufacturers for new cars that will only trickle down to used cars. As vehicles are not being sold at the new car dealerships, you know, the used car dealers are going to have a harder time trying to get used cars from auctions, lease returns, etc. Getting a used car might be more difficult in the near future. McMahon says the consumers will be one of the most affected. As there's shortages, we have to pay more for cars, which in turn, the customers will end up being the ones who pay the most. He says his company could potentially feel the short-term effects in the coming weeks. In Omaha, John Brown, 3 News Now. McMahon also told John that the long-term effects could start in the next few months.